There's more than one way to make carne asada tacos, and today we're showing you how to make them using those big dino ribs that everybody loves so much. Greek tacos are not just bistec, fajita, or trompo. They can basically be made with any meat the taquero chooses, and you can often find them made with costillas. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to make them easily on the Regtech 380X right in your own backyard. We all live really fast-paced, busy lifestyles, and yet we still all wanna eat some really good food off of the grill or the smoker. And the Regtech makes it easy to handle a long cook like these monster ribs without having to babysit them for hours on end. The best part of being able to walk away from the cook is that I can whip up a salsa at the same time. So while the Reg Tech is doing its magic, we're making a salsa matcha too. So let's get fired up, hit that button, and start making some amazing taquitos. Vamonos! Now for today's trimming job, we're gonna use a six inch Victorinox Chef knife. Perfect for my hand, it's real light, easy to use. Now this rib has a little excess meat here. We'll call that a carnita. I'll probably cook that and give it to my puppy dog, unless I eat it first. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You can get in here right under that silver skin. And like I always say, a really sharp knife and cold meat makes the trim job a lot easier. I personally like to take all the silver skin off because I can get the rub right there on the meat. You want that little bit of salt to go in there and do its magic and add that amazing flavor to the meat. Today, we're using my brisket rub. I love it on big meats. It's really great on chicken. It's great on pork ribs. It's great on steaks. You can use it on anything you want. One of the reasons I like to use these big beef ribs for tacos, it takes a while to cook them, but all of those things, the collagen, the connective tissue, and the marbling, creates an amazing flavor all together. Some people ask me what I do with the trimmings. I like to make homemade beef broth with it. And the little carnitas, uh, I'll either pan fry them and make tacos out of that, or I'll trim off the fat, mix it with my puppy's dog food, and then he loves it. <laughs> Everybody loves big beef ribs for sure. And I am not going to remove the membrane. If you want to, you can kind of score it like this. We're gonna go ahead and lay some brisket rub on here. Make sure you get it on all the sides as much as possible. You can be generous with it. This is gonna be a three, four hour cook. Put a little bit more rub here and get the sides and the big front part here too. And I will share with you guys, if you season them the night before, they'll taste even better. That salt will pull some of that moisture out. The moisture will go back into the meat and add more flavor and it'll be a lot more moist and juicy as well. All right friends, we have two monster ribs ready to go to the Rectech 380 pellet grill. It's time to get this show on the road. We're gonna crank this up to 400 degrees just to get the party started. It's super hot outside. As soon as this thing's smoking and the ribs are on the Rectech 380, I'm going inside to make a salsa, maybe a margarita too. <laughs> Hear that? It's time to close the lid, let it get hot, 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 hot. All right, my friend, it's time to get these gorgeous beauties on. Look at that, they look friggin' gorgeous right here. It's still setting at 400. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to 300. I want these to cruise. When they cook a little slower, a little bit lower, you're gonna get the maximum amount of moisture and juice in your meat. All right, so we're set at 300 degrees. We'll be back. Every taco needs a good salsa, and today we made a salsa matcha. I've been obsessed with the salsa lately and had to bring it into this recipe. Start by deseeding your chiles of choice. We used guajillo, ancho, and arbol. Once you've finished deseeding, go ahead and get your oil hot and drop the chiles in. You need to have them in there for only a minute or two or else they're gonna get bitter. You don't want that. Then combine them with your other ingredients into a blender. We got a full video for this salsa coming soon. I promise you're gonna love this one. Boom! It's been exactly an hour and 10 minutes. It's time to spritz for the first time. I have not opened the lid. I have no idea what we're gonna see under there. We're fixing to find out though. But first, I'm gonna mix me up a little spritz here. I call it a 70-30 or an 80-20. This is just apple cider vinegar. So I'm gonna call that 20 or 30%. I'm gonna add water. I'm gonna say that's 70-30, 80-20, somewhere, somewhere around there. If you notice here, we're still cruising at 300 degrees. It has not moved one degree. That's one of the things I love about the Rectech grills. I have three of them now. All right, let's see what we got here. Beautiful color. Let's go ahead and get them spritzed a little bit. Just want to make sure they're moist. Now, they don't look dry at all right now. They're actually pretty dadgum moist. We want to make sure they stay moist. You can see how quick the bone's starting to pull back. 
I'm gonna go ahead and crank down the heat to 275. I think the bone's pulling back a little too fast for my liking. One click of the button and we're there. I'm gonna monitor that for the next 30, 40 minutes. I'll be back, we'll look at them one more time. Uh, and if I need to, if they look a little dry, we'll go ahead and spritz them one more time. We waited a whole hour. I went ahead and brought the temperature down at 250 degrees. I brought it down another 25 degrees just because, like I said earlier, I thought they were cooking a little too fast. Let's take another look. Look at that. Ha, that bone's already falling off. I'm gonna flip them over for a little while. That's because it didn't have any extra meat here on the side to hold it in place. I want to get a little more smoke flavor on the meat, a uh, little bit of direct grilling. Some of the grease is dripping on the deflector plate. It atomizes and attaches to the meat, adds a really great flavor. If you cook lower, slower, longer, you could probably do two or three spritzes along the way, but these things are already moist and juicy like they are. They didn't need a whole lot. We're back out here, it's been 30 minutes, and it's time to wrap these ribs. Look at them ribs. Man, they sure did puff up a lot. And see if I can squeeze them both in here. I think I can. Yeah, buddy. There you go. All right, guys. Y'all remember that uh, I had the uh, trimmings. I made the natural beef broth out of it. I took all those little scraps, put them in a little pan with a little bit of water. And I'm going to put all this in here to let this meat steam up. About one and three quarters of a cup. They fit just right. That helps us keep all the heat and the moisture in there. You don't want to push too hard on the foil because it'll get torn with the bones. So just kind of very carefully pull it up with your fingers like this to the little lip, the little edge that the pan has, and you'll be okay. Let them finish cooking. I am curious and inquiring minds want to know, so hopefully I get it just right. I hit the meat just right in between the bones. We're at 190 degrees, no more than an hour we'll be in business. We're gonna let them cruise at 225 till they're done. Done, good, good, good. I have a feeling they're pretty dang close to done. It's been about 35 minutes since we closed the lid last time. I'm gonna check them one more time. Yeah, oh man, that's like butter, like butter. I'm gonna rotate this around. I'm gonna give it about 15, 20 minutes. We should be over 200 on both, and we'll see you guys inside. We're just gonna yank the bones out of here, just like that, it falls right out. Just like that. Beautiful piece of rib meat, ready to be made into tacos. You can smell that deliciousness in there. You really can. We wanna get all this fat off, the excess fat. Fat is flavor, but you don't want pure fat. You want that intramuscular fat mixed in with the meat. We're gonna cut these up just like that. You wanna chop it up a little bit fine so you can stuff more in your taco. Just my opinion. All right, here we go, friend. We have some nice chopped up beef ribs. All right, so you wanna get a little bit of that natural tallow. Remember we put some of that beef broth in there? Has a little bit of that, a little bit of tallow, not too much. I have a couple of these corn tortillas. I'm gonna dip them in a little bit of that oil. This is not a health food channel. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and here we have three beautiful taquitos, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of onion. This is a really good salsa, friend. It's a little different. It has a dark color, it has an earthy aroma, and an amazing good taste. All right, friends, now Terry does not want hers in oil, so I'm gonna make hers the same as mine, but without the oil in the tortilla. Mmm, mmm, very good. But I forgot to squeeze the lime. Oh yeah, baby, mmm. It's so good. I'm gonna eat me another one before we decide to finish the video. And this time, I'm not gonna forget to squeeze the lime. Mmm, Now these tacos would be good with any kind of salsa, green, red, they're really good with salsa matcha too. Mm. They're wonderful. I think you should try it. So cook you up some big beef ribs, shave the meat off, get you some corn tortillas, cilantro and onions, a lime and some salsa matcha. You can thank me later because I know you're going to. It's that good. With that said, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a blast making it. It's always fun to cook something that we hope you guys will enjoy. If you want some of our American Pitmaster rubs, like you see here, go to pitmaster.us. If you want to up your barbecue game, go to pitmasterclass.us. Friends, I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, remember to hit the like, share it with your friends and your family. Keep the smoke light, my friends. Make it work.
Um, 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 um. They're really good, honey. They're good. Super good. Good. <laughs> Smoke always loves me. I don't know why, but I, I love it just as much. That's what you really want. 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 Mmm, <laughs> forgot the damn line again. Wow, look at that. Man. Whoa, 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 whoa. And um, just thought of something, the way that I, I like to cook these ribs on, on the pellet grill here. We'll be back. <laughs> 